Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Doug Wolf with Keller Williams Town Center in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, this morning is October 29th. We are bringing you the Virginia Beach Market Update. This is information that if you're a buyer or a seller or an investor, um, this is data that you need to know about what's going on in our trend lines currently in the city of Virginia Beach. We're going to be talking about active listings, pending listings, and sold listings, not just in the month of October, but also year to date. And maybe take a look and see what those trend lines look like and which direction that we're heading and where we've been in the past. So uh, we're going to get right to the numbers. Currently active listings in the city of Virginia Beach, meaning something that's on the market for sale, whether it's a condo, townhouse, or a single family home. 2,757 properties currently on the market. That number is actually down 65 from when we did this market update back on the 15th. So in the last couple of weeks, We've had a lot of property either come off the market because it went uh, pending or sold, or it expired or was withdrawn off the market. But um, that's an it, that's a, a pretty much a dead on trend line that we see for this time of the year. We start to see less and less inventory, and um, and then that inventory will increase generally late February, early March, and it will continue to increase until around the middle of July, August, and then we really start to see it now as we are right now in October. The um, 2,757 properties, those are made up of single family homes and condos and townhomes. We're gonna be looking at single family homes right now. 1,641 of those properties currently on the market. Uh, the price range for that is 88,000 to $7.9 million for a single family home currently in the Virginia, uh, Virginia Beach area. Uh, the townhomes and the condos, those are made up of uh, 1,116 properties, 1116. And the low for that is 69,000, going up to as high as $2 million for a townhome condo in the city of Virginia Beach currently. The um, REOs, short sales and foreclosures, those are certainly active listings. It's just that we separate them so we can track their trend lines and see where we are in that type of a market. Even though it is an active market, it's a little bit different market than a typical uh, typical seller who's got their property on the market. Um, currently, 674 of those on the market. Back when we did the Virginia Beach market update on the 15th, that number was at 675. So not a lot of change in that. Um, not really a good sign. We want to see those numbers come down and get more and more short, short sales foreclosures off the market. Um, average price for the uh, ARIA short sales and foreclosures list price is $225,339. So, uh, uh, you know, as I said, we want to see that trend line go down. We're not expecting it to go down, but it's wishful thinking. Um, looking at the pendings and solds for the month of October, 846 properties have, uh, are either pending or have sold in the month of October. Those are made up of 602 that we currently have pending, 602 properties, and 244 properties actually sold so far in the month of October, and today's the 29th, so we're almost at the end, um, and it's a Friday, so we're going to be November 1st on Monday that's uh, probably going to be where it's going to end up at 244. The dollar average for the ones that have sold so far in the month of October, $278,142 and average days on market. The number of days it took to put it under contract, 81 days, 81 days to put a property under contract in the city of Virginia Beach. And as I said, average sold price for those is 278,000. So if you're looking at buyer or selling, Match that up. Are you below, above the average? Do you recognize that it's going to take you 81 days to put the property under contract? Um, and obviously you control that by price, by staging, by your motivation. Uh, looking at year-to-date solds, 4,288 properties have sold year-to-date uh, in the city of Virginia Beach. And um, the dollar average for those that sold, $287,815. And that's really close to our 278. And the average days on market, 76 days on market, I'm right in that realm. If we go back a year, we go to 2009 year to date, 4,702 properties actually sold year to date in 2009 versus our 4,288. So roughly about 400, 500 property difference. That's, that's a pretty big chunk just going back 12 months ago to say not as many properties are selling now as they did 12 months ago. If you're a seller, you need to be motivated to sell your house right now. Uh, the dollar average for the year to date was almost identical though, $279,919. 
and um, that's only like off 1%, and it only took 78 days. 78 days, 76 days, 80 days. Very, very similar in days on market, very similar on price, very different on actual sold closed properties. Okay, that's off by about 500 properties. So uh, what's your message? If you're looking to sell the property, you got to be motivated to sell it. You got to understand that you're competing with foreclosures and short sales. You've got to be willing to price it uh, at current market value or below current market value. And you need to be willing to stage the property in some form or another. Declutter the property, show the square footage. My name is Doug Wolf. I'm the associate broker here at Keller Williams Town Center. If you'd like to reach me directly, my phone number is 757 515 4728. Email. Doug Wolf at bettercalledoug.com and the website is bettercalledoug.com. We have some fantastic trend lines for Virginia Beach, Norfolk, and Chesapeake on the website that you can go to. No cost, no obligation, anything like that. Just information that you need to know to make intelligent decisions. Um, we are back on Monday doing the Hampton Road Southside market update with Norfolk, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, and Portsmouth all included in that, in that data. So make it a great day. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call.